My lord, this is a gem that I had almost completely forgotten about. I still remember the first time I went to see Cats and Dogs. I went to see this with a friend of mine from grade school and we laughed our asses off for most of the movie. And even today I laughed at a lot of the stuff in this. I think that Cats and Dogs is a really, really enjoyable movie. People today are probably not going to be as enthralled by it, but I think that for me, having grown up in the late 90s and early 2000s, I think that this is just a movie that is mainly funny to people like me who grew up within that generation. Other than Jeff Goldblum or whoever was playing the maid, the only good actors in the movie were the animals. The story is intentionally ridiculous and is hysterical as a result. I mean, the explanation as to why cats and dogs are enemies of each other was basically that cats used to enslave human beings in ancient Egypt, and then dogs came along and drove the evil cats out. I guess the person that wrote this movie is more of a dog person. And I think I have even more of an appreciation for Mr. Tinkles, who is one of the funniest villains I have seen in all of movie history. I love his line where he says to his henchmen, I need you to stay here. Why? Because I hate you. Even if there was nothing worth watching in Cats and Dogs, the whole movie is worth watching if for no other reason than to watch Mr. Tinkles act like an asshole to everyone in his life who gets in his way or annoys him. There were other funny moments other than Mr. Tinkles. Sam and Lou were pretty funny characters. I think this movie did a really hilarious job of getting in the minds of dogs. Like when Lou was talking about his plan to go back to the barn. Okay, first I gotta get out of here, get back to the barn, and get a better pitchfork. I remember hearing that line as a kid and not getting the subtle hilariousness of that line, and now as an adult I'm thinking, okay, that's hysterical. Like I said earlier, there are no other characters in this movie other than Jeff Goldblum and whoever played the maid that were good actors. And I'm glad there weren't too many human characters. There's really nothing much for me to really talk about with this, because most of my love for this movie is fueled by my own nostalgia and by my love for Mr. Tinkles as a hilarious character. Other than that, I don't think there's much to talk about with this. But anyway, that's all I have to say about it. Cats and Dogs gets four stars out of five.